back. This segment, it's going to be an extension of, of another segment I did on my own channel, my own wisdom channel, which is my health channel. Um, it was about environment me and the whole microbiotic uh, aspect of, I guess you could say nature and even yourself. It was interesting because, you know, I like to make videos sometimes. I like to see the energetic response. So that's a little different than just saying hit so liked or comments. Because usually when somebody says energetic response, they look at the negative comments. I found for with my videos for the most part, most people don't, don't really make negative comments per se. For me, either they like it, if they don't like it, they just ignore it for the most part. Of course, you get people who make negative comments, of course. But in general, when I look at my videos compared to others, a lot of times they just rather ignore it. And it's because in a lot of ways sometimes YouTube is a lot, very big now. And I have to admit, you have a lot of YouTube stars who have came and have better numbers than me. Even my partner in crime, Matt Galessi, I mean, she, she got like 35,000 subs. So I think it's easier now. See, when I first came on YouTube, it wasn't that much people making videos for the most part. So I think now it's easier to just, well, for some people, ignore. And the reason why I say for some people, because you get a lot of people who, you know, you go to their YouTube channels and then they flutter with negative comments, to be honest. And I mean, bad, right? And I think part of it, for me, I'm half and half. I think part of it is the size, right? Where if you don't have as much people watching videos, you, you may not get not much negative comments. But I think another part of it as well is that I try my best to cover things from as many angles as, as I could cover from, to be honest, right? So that means I'll touch science, I'll touch spirituality. You see, writing books, science fiction. You know, if I got to do economics, I'll do that too. If I got to do health, I'll do that too. Most people are coming from one or two angles. So when you're coming from one or two angles, it's easier to go at you sometimes. So that's, I so, saw, you know, so for me, when I'm looking at my videos, I always have to look at it more from the energetic response. So just sometimes see if I should make more videos about that topic. Maybe people don't understand it. And on my Viomi video, I found it interesting because I think it was a combination of people not understand it and people were scared. Because I noticed, that's about bacteria. Most people in the alternative health community now kind of know about probiotics. They kind of know, all right, for digestive health, bacteria is cool. For the most part, they get that, right? So, you know, still not the favorite topic. To me, even if you understand it from that perspective, you're still missing the point about bacteria, period. You're still not understanding that, no, 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 no. When you see a human being, right? And, you know, most of us, even our spiritual systems, have described our consciousness as maybe seven bodies, maybe seven personalities. So for some people, 36 personalities. But there was always something where, when it comes to the human being, probably in the mind... For some people, it could be ancestral voices. For some people, it could be the voice of a higher guardian angel, higher self, and the ego self. But when you get into bacteria, you get into the point is way beyond that. To be honest, way beyond that, right? And that the human body in itself is an ecosystem made up of many life forms and many intelligences which influence your thoughts, which you may not even realize. It. So when you deal with bacteria, you know, probiotics, they would always say, well, the stomach it could influence the mind. Right, people start to get on that. The whole viral meat concept or, or or indigenous viruses that's in your body concept came in because they understood that it's kind of related to the same thing. It's related to your ecosystem. In fact, they live in your ecosystem, which are the, the viruses that are native towards ev in everyone. Right. So you want to call them viral me? You could call them that. Scientists still don't really know what it means yet. So when I made the video, it wasn't really to profess it's going to be this, it's going to be that. Right. But it was to profess that, you know, a lot of times when we take an alternative health, like the, a lot of reasons why I have a problem with the current alternative health and holistic communities is that they were formed as a reaction to the medical establishment. And as that reaction came in, the, the scientific, because medicine is kind of behind too, right? But the more biology, the scientific establishment is still continuing to improve, to be honest. I give them that. And they got a lot of ways to go, but they, they make an effort to improve. And when they start to understand about bacteria, like, I don't think people understand. The whole concept of bacteria is going to change. And viral me too, because this is more about viruses. Those two things are going to change health forever. What we know about the body, what even we perceive as good food, good diet, that will change eventually. In the next five to ten years, you will see that change. And unfortunately, and I always tell people this. 
if your spiritual game is tight, if your spiritual knowledge is on point, and this is going into your knowledge of health is on point, nothing science is supposed to be able to do should be able to really turn your stuff into pseudoscience. Unfortunately, people, unfortunately, it's, you know, a lot of people are going to get their hearts broken in five or ten years because they refuse to change. And the thing is, they're making a lot of choices. They're making a lot of theories based on only half the information, to be honest. Because if you look at the bodies and ecosystem, which every single one, like every single tribe of bacteria, we don't know about the virus, the environment yet. Right? We don't know about them yet. But from every single tribe of bacteria have their own nutritional needs. Right, which would then increase the diversity of a diet. That might be the death of the whole vegan versus um, meat eating diet, to be honest, or vegan versus vegetarian diet, because you probably see that for the most part, the human uh, the human beings mostly omnivore. But I do admit, still, it will confirm that most of, that we're eating too much meat as a society, and probably only meat's probably supposed to be about ten percent of your diet, if even that to be honest, especially when you look at how meat's treated, right? See, it's one thing if you say, I'm going to be vegan, I'm going to be vegetarian, based on how the meat's treated, right? Or you can be vegan and vegetarian if you're sick and you're trying to reverse the illness. Because I do admit, if you're sick, you shouldn't be eating meat, right? That's totally different. But when you're making a conscious choice, either you think it's more more the morality, where you think, well, Animals are alive, why should I kill them? Plants are not alive, or they're alive, but they don't have souls, so I could kill a plant, like in a heartbeat. Right? When you're making this decisions based on morality, and you're trying to pass off as science, you will get knocked out. <laughs> no question about it. And I think the viral video and the people's strange energy when it came to that was just proof of that, I think, for the most part. And I enjoyed watching the energetic responses, and I was like, wow. This my, that was my whole point of when I started to try to make a, a health channel is I want to come from a health point of view or from an alternative health point of view that was a combination of alternative health, which is really the spirituality of applying it to, into, into health on the body, and science. Because I think if you don't combine them, you're going to run into the problems that the alternative health community is going to run into. And, you know, I'm trying to give people motivation. I'm not trying, trying to tell you to go and pretend you know what Viome is or even pretend you know what the ecosystem of your gut flora is, but start to research. And it's about challenging yourself. So when someone presents you information, challenge it, to be honest. Challenge yourself. to If you can't understand it, go out there and research it. But I think we come in now as if we hear something, we don't like it, we just flip it and go something else, right? And we pretend it doesn't exist. That's why I like people who read books better than videos. Because when you read, when you read a book, if you're going to buy money for a book, you're probably going to read the whole thing or try. But videos, oh, man. You know, you just you watch it, you don't understand it. You don't even challenge yourself to see why you don't understand it. So if you missed my Valmy video, take another look at it. Very important. Till next time, peace.